Unveiling phase one of the national hydrogen policy to promote manufacturing of green hydrogen, Power Minister Raj Kumar Singh said the move is aimed to make India energy independent and also meet its climate commitments. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the National Hydrogen Mission back on Independence Day in 2021 with the ambition to boost the growth of green hydrogen in India to work towards being energy independent. Green hydrogen refers to the hydrogen which is generated from electrolysis of water with the entire process run on renewable energy. Green hydrogen has the potential to be the enabler of transition to sustainable energy. Green hydrogen can open up a plethora of options such as green ammonia in the fertilizer sector or blending with natural gas for existing CNG vehicles or eventually generating power on a 24-7 basis. Hydrogen can also be used for industrial applications, for running gas-based turbines for electricity generation or for fuel cell vehicles, thus ensuring zero emission from the transportation sector. As climate change and global warming concerns mount and countries across the world commit to reducing emissions, green hydrogen has triggered a lot of interest given its ability to generate large-scale energy with a low carbon footprint. Several private sector companies have already made commitments towards working on green hydrogen products. Here's a look at who is planning what. First up is Reliance Industries. Chairman Mukesh Ambani plans to invest 75,000 crores over the next three years to build a new clean energy business aimed at meeting the conglomerate's commitment to be net carbon neutral by the year 2035. The plan entails three parts, a 60,000 crore investment in four gigawatt factories that will manufacture and fully integrate all the critical components for the business, a 15,000 crore investment in building the value chain, partnerships and future technologies including upstream and downstream industries and repurposing the company's engineering project management and construction capabilities towards clean energy. Now, green hydrogen would be a priority, as Mr. Ambani has said. The group aims to offer hydrogen energy at under $1 per kg in a decade. Reliance also aims to be one of the largest producers of blue hydrogen globally by using petroleum coke. The next company is Gale. The state-run giant is geared up to build India's largest green hydrogen facility over the next 12 to 14 months. It aims to supplement its natural gas business with carbon-free fuel as investors increase focus on ESG parameters. The company recently started a first-of-its-kind project of mixing hydrogen in the natural gas system at Indore on pilot basis. Indian Oil plans to build the country's first green hydrogen plant at its Mathura refinery. The OMC has also has in-principle approval for investing 100 crores for setting up green hydrogen fuel infrastructure at Kochi and Tiruvananthapuram as a pilot. Meanwhile, NTPC has backed the country's first green hydrogen microgrid project at its Simadri plant in Andhra Pradesh. In July 21, its arm NTPC Renewable Energy Limited called a domestic tender to set up India's first green hydrogen fueling station at Leh Ladakh. The company plans to use the electricity generated from upcoming renewable energy projects to generate green hydrogen on commercial scale. Another company, LNT, is keen to enter the green hydrogen space and has already tied up with the companies working on the technology. It's already signed a pact with Norway-based electrolyzer technology and manufacturer Hydrogen Pro AS to set up a unit in India in December. LNT is tied up with Renew Power to jointly develop, own, execute and operate green hydrogen projects in India. Meanwhile, Gautam Adani has said that the Adani Group hopes to become one of the largest green hydrogen producers in the world, which could subsequently help India emerge as world's cheapest hydrogen producer. The group is already investing about $20 billion in renewable energy generation over the next decade and is keen to produce green hydrogen. BPCL has collaborated with Bhaba Atomic Research Centre to work on alkaline electrolyzer technology for green hydrogen production. It aims to scale up production of the electrolyzer for commercial use, especially in refineries. In fact, many other companies such as Renew Power, uh, Acme Group and even JSW Group are also working towards entering the green hydrogen ecosystem. Green hydrogen has the potential to decarbonize the sector, which currently have the largest carbon footprint in the world. With the capability to provide a zero emission fuel, green hydrogen is well placed to be integrated into the transport sector and replace the use of coal and coke in the industrial space. The government is therefore strongly pursuing the objective to make India a global manufacturing hub of green hydrogen and place itself as the leading green hydrogen user as well as exporter.